Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a tutorial using the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm so excited because I've been waiting for this palette literally since before it came out, like February or whenever she announced it. But yeah, I finally got my hands on it and I'm so excited because I saw James Charles did a look that was so pretty. It was like blue and metallic and orange and so pretty. So I did it the other day and I posted a picture of it. So I decided to do just a tutorial on it just to show you how I did it and how he did it. So yeah, if you want to see the, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what I would call it, like a blue, orange, smoky eye, I don't know. It's kind of like a halo eye. But yeah, if you want to see how I do it, then just keep So watching. I'm going to start off with the eyes. I already did my, eye la uh, my eyebrows. So I'm just going to take some Tarte Shape Tape concealer and um, just carve them out and set them at the same time. And I um, am going to do one eye on camera and one eye off camera as per usual, just because I think it takes too much time to do both eyes when you're just doing the same thing, so. And then I'm going to set it with my NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in Translucent. And I'm just going to use this Morphe E23 brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the palette. I love the silver and like everything in the back has little JHs all over it. I'm sure everyone has seen this palette already. It is literally all over the internet. So yeah, first I'm going to take the shade Creamsicle and with the same E23 brush, I am just going to buff it into my crease. And this is just going to be the transition shade. And I'm not really gonna pile it on too much because I don't want it to be like super vibrant. I just want it to be like a little wash of like orange. go into the shade I think this is Hunts and I am going to take this um, MAC 224 brush and just buff that into the crease as well Actually, I'm gonna take the MAC 217 brush and take Hunts instead of the 224 just because I don't want it to like, go everywhere even though it kind of already has and I'm just going back in with this um, E23 just to blend everything together and then I'm going to take the shade Jax right here I think this is Jax <laughs> and on that same um, 217. And then I'm just going to put that even lower in the crease or tighter in the crease. And then I'm going to take the shade Royal, which is this purple shade right here on this little skinny crease brush. This is the Morphe 562 and it is really, really skinny. So I'm just gonna dip my brush into the purple and work this into the crease just a little bit. To the MAC 217. And I'm not going to take any more product just because it already has a little bit left on it. And I'm just going to blend it together. And then I'm going to take this flat brush from BH Cosmetics. This is the number 7 brush. And I'm going to take the shade Twerk, which is this shade right here, this blue one. And I am going to pack it all over the lid. And then I'm going to spray my brush with um, some rose water and then just go over it. Yeah. 
Because I really want the blue to like pop. And then I'm going to go back into this 562 brush, take Royal, which is that purple shade, and then just blend the, um, the blue and the orange together. Okay, I'm actually going to take this little, um, little domed brush, and I'm going to take um, Hunts, which is that orangey shade, and put it right in the crease. And then take Royal and just push it right in between Hunts and Torque. Just because these are two very different colors, so you want something like in between, which purple isn't in between orange and blue, but it'll do. Actually, I don't know if purple is in between orange and blue. No, it's green. Because it's yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay. Okay, <laughs> stupid. Okay, see, now we're... Now we're cooking with peanut oil. See, now it's like nice and smooth and blended. So now I'm just going to take this little flat packer brush and I'm going to take the shade pool party which is this one right here and I'm going to pack it on the center and then I'm going to spray my brush again and dip back into pool party and then go over top Okay, and then I am going to go back into twerk and blend both of those together. And then go back into pool party. I'm just going back and forth just to make sure that everything is blended. And I just took a um, pool party on my finger and just tapped it in the middle just for that extra pop. And then on this um, little dome brush, I'm going to take Twerk again, that blue shade, and just make sure everything is blended. And I do have a little bit of fallout, which is fine. But that's why I wanted to do my eyes first, just because I didn't want to mess up my makeup. So this is basically what the lid is going to look like. I'm going to highlight and do everything on the eyes after I finish. So I'm going to do my other eye, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I did my other eye. And now I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the face, finish the eyes, and then, yeah. So my skin is already primed, and I am going to use the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation today. And this is in the shade Porcelain. So I'm going to buff this in with the Morphe M439 brush. And then I'm just going to pat in the rest of my foundation with this Flower Beauty sponge. For concealer, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape and my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the shade Fair Beige and this is in the shade Light. going to set my lids with my loose face powder and this little elf highlighting brush. It is a highlighting brush for like right here, but I like to use it to set my under eyes because it like 
it fits perfectly right under the little socket of my eye. And I'm just going to set all the places that I put concealer and the places that crease the most, like my forehead, my forehead and my smile lines. But I'm just getting right here in the center because again, I am going to cream contour and I don't want that to mess up. So for contour, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. this um, Real Techniques Sculpting Brush, I am going to buff that in to my skin. And I know it looks a little um, intense right now, but I'm just going to take the rest and put it on my nose. And I love how dense this brush is because it really like lets me rub it in without like smearing it around and like making it look sloppy. It really like does the job. And this can see that um, concealer is also really, really, really nice. Now I can go ahead and set the rest of my face. So I'm going to go ahead and use that same powder with this Real Techniques powder brush. And then I'm going to take this e.l.f. bronzer palette and bronze up my cheeks. And I'm just going to take this little um, flawless face brush from e.l.f. and just like, I don't know, get some of every color and just bronze up the cheeks. And then for blush today, I am going to use MAC Spring Sheen. And this has like a very like orangey, like red, uh, pinky tone in it. So I figured it would look really good with my eyeshadow. Or maybe I should use peach. Okay, I'll use peach. And then for highlight, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch Highlighter. I am going to take this BH Cosmetics number one. Yeah, this is number one. And <laughs> just highlight my cheeks. And then I'm going to spray my face and then pat all the powder in so it doesn't sit on the hairs of my face because everybody has hair on their face. Just so it really sinks in and looks natural. <laughs> So we're going to go back to the eyes and finish them up. So I'm going to take Twerk, the blue shade, and push it up. Onto my waterline. With this little shader brush, I'm going to take the shade Pool Party, which is this turquoise shade right here. And put that right in the center. actually just going to take this 217 um, and dip into Hunts and then just blend it a 
under my eye and then I'm gonna come up and connect it. Okay, I'm gonna take this one and take Hunt's. And then I'm just kind of like gonna flick it out and connect it to make it look like kind of like a cat eye. And it's okay if it like gets kind of messy under there, you can just like fix it with your little sponge. All the colors to show, so I'm gonna go back into twerk and just make sure that it pops. And then pool party. So now I'm just going to apply my lashes. I'm not going to apply um, liner because I feel like it takes away from the look. So I'm just going to apply these um, Ardell Wispy Lashes. And I like to use these because um, Whenever I put like the mascara on, I feel like they blend really well and look like my normal lashes, which are is not true because I don't really have lashes. But you know, whatever. So I am just going to apply these and I will be Okay, right so back. now that my lashes are on, I'm going to apply the Koki Strength or Volume and Length mascara to blend them together. And then I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this shade Beam. I think that's what this one's called. And I'm gonna put that on my inner corner as well. Okay, and lastly for lips, I'm going to apply this little mini Tarnist lip paint in the shade birthday suit and this was like a, a gift from Sephora for my birthday so they don't sell it but <laughs> I'm sure they have similar colors so I'm just going to apply this to my lips okay so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye